This is Camp Kennedy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Here is uh, another fun little video for us. I'm excited. Uh, it's like Christmas, as you know, whenever you uh, get a package in the mail. This particular package uh, was sent to me from a gentleman by the name of Gerard. Um, or Gerard? Jared? J E R R O D. Jared? Gerard? A nice guy who decided he wanted to send this animal uh, down here. And as you guys know, I don't take tons of different animals. Um, I can't just accept everything. But uh, there are some target species that I do want to work with that I, I know I'm interested in and I want to uh, work with, so I'll take them. And uh, this animal will be a great addition to the camp. It will also be a really cool addition to the new sanctuary Kyle and I are going to be building uh, next year. Um, so let's take the good old opener here and be very gentle with it. As you know, it's a large bowie knife. Bowie knife, but uh, yeah, this is so cool, man. I'm not doing too well. Let's. Uh, Open that up. The lovely Kate is manning the camera today, and I want everyone to wish her, um, wish her health and happiness. I don't know. She doesn't feel good, man. She's allergic to mangoes. She's got a horrible um, hives that have broken out. So yeah. I hope she feels better. She's not even making comments here. <laughs> She's not in a good mood at all. I'm fine. Thank you. Well, well I love you, dear. I don't want you to. I hate when you don't feel good. So everyone wish my girlfriend Kate to feel better soon. Um, anyway, you know, this is a great knife, but crappy opener. And I know I'm going to get so many comments, you're going to kill it, whatever it is. I'm not going anywhere near it, so don't worry. I'm nowhere near it. All right, it's not going to be like David Copperfield where I'm sawing a uh, person in half here. So let's get this open. All right, here we go. All right, there is what it is. Varanus Merton's eye, the... Merton's Water Monitor. These guys are from Australia. Now he tells me that this animal is a little, uh, it's got a lot of spunk. So let's see. Oh awesome. This is so cool, man. Oh boy, I hope this animal's doing good or else this will be the crappiest unboxing ever. I always get nervous. Um, but anyway, uh, this animal's got a little bit of spunk so we're gonna be careful as we open it because once it sees Daylight, it's probably going to take off and it could also bite. It's a juvenile Not sure yet if it's a male or female um, They are sexually dimorphic uh, The throat color on a male is going to be more blue uh, and more white on Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god. This is so cool. This is really cool because this is a species I love um, I love water monitors of any kind. They don't grow as large as an Asian water monitor. Are you guys freaking out? Do you want me to just pull this animal out? Are you freaking out, Kate? Well, only if it's going to run at me. It's alive and it looks beautiful. And I can't believe this thing, man. I'm so amped. All right, so let's go ahead and secure it. I like to secure them first by grabbing. Oh, yeah, it's spunky. All right. This is awesome. Let's not get bit. Oh, my God. Look at this beautiful lizard. Look at this beautiful lizard. This is gorgeous. Um, unreal. I, this is an incredible gift. Uh, Gerard, thank you so much. These are Australian. They live from Broome all the way to the western side of Cape York Peninsula in Australia. These guys are just fully um, adapted to a life in and around the water. Just like crocodiles, these guys actually have a valve. Look at where their nostrils are. Can you see that, Kate? Can you guys see that at home? Where the nostrils are on this lizard? It's actually, they're placed on top of their head uh, so they can breathe. And they actually have valves that they can shut uh, so they can go fully submersible, uh, just like Slinky. Uh, but this is a mini slinky and uh, it doesn't get quite as big, but it eats crabs and fish and any animal, just like any monitor, it'll eat any ma uh, animal that it can overpower uh, and, and subdue. So it is a predator. Uh, but look at the color on this thing. This thing's sick. These guys will get about a meter long or three feet roughly, uh, a little bit over. Uh, look at this laterally compressed tail. Huh? Is that cool? That shows you this is a monitor designed for swimming in the water. Well, as opposed to swimming on anything else. Uh, there's nothing else you can really swim in, is there? No, nah, not on this planet. Uh, but anyway, 
I'm really geeked out, man. So this, this is beautiful. I love the long neck. It's got such a long neck. And that's just to help it crane up out of the water uh, to kind of periscope, look around, see what's going on. Then it just gets back to business. They can find food underwater. They can find food on the shores. They'll dig burrows and they'll live in the burrows to retire for the evening. Uh, really, really, this is a beautiful animal. Um, you know, he did mention that it was missing one of the toes. Okay, and that's how it was sent to him. Um, this animal was sent to him uh, as an import. Um, it's a juvenile. It looks to be, uh, you know, from my best estimation, maybe a year and a half, uh, possibly two years old. I don't know, they can grow pretty quick monitors if you feed them well. This one certainly has been fed well. You can see that because it's got such, oh, there you go. There's a boy. <laughs> Kate got a little frightened, just a little. but just a little. That's, he's waking up now. He's like, oh, wait a minute. This is awesome. Oh my God, I love you. And he could still bite me. He could totally bite me if he wanted to right now. That neck is long enough that he could just turn and bite me. But you know what? I'll take it. Uh, I don't want to restrain his neck any more than this. Oh, it's huffing and puffing right now. They're just doing the typical monitor thing where it's puffing up. So I am so psyched on this lizard. So the Bronx Zoo actually has bred these. And uh, perhaps for us, with our relationship with those good people over there, uh, maybe with the new sanctuary, we'll be able to house some of their animals. And uh, after we put the animals in a quarantine, we can get them together and create a group of these Merton, Merton eye, these, uh, these water monitors from Northern Australia. Beautiful animal, really exciting. If you know anything about monitors, you know they're intelligent. So this thing, I mean, can you believe this? Is that gorgeous or what? This animal looks great. What do you say you guys follow me outside? We're gonna put it in its temporary enclosure. Okay, this is just a temporary enclosure. Um, it's, it's not gonna be this animal's final stop, but it'll be a good thing for me to raise it up and uh, all of its needs are gonna be met. Um, but he's gonna live right out here. And I literally threw this together very quickly this morning in anticipation of this young one's arrival. I have no idea what we're gonna call this guy. So I'm, I'm willing to take some suggestions. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please let me know. But here, it's just a Zoomed uh, large iguana cage. I use them for the monkey tail skinks. I keep it very basic, okay, because we're just trying to raise the animal up. I want it to get used to me. I want it to get used to living here. Um, so now it's gonna have that natural hot Florida sun, just like they'd find uh, down under in, tropic in the tropical north of Australia. I am so excited about this animal. It is gorgeous. This is just, the pictures didn't do it justice. Uh, thank you so much, Gerard, uh, Jared, Gerard, Gerard. Jared, Dude. I would think, right? I would think Jared, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're a teacher. You, you have to deal with that every uh, school year, figuring names out. It's shedding a little bit. So what do you say? Let's put it in and see what it does. We want to be careful, um, obviously. What I've done, guys, is I've zip-tied this bottom one because sometimes they can push on it, but that's secured. We got some palm fronds to get to some security. I got a very basic hide box down there some tree branches to climb on. I'll go around, I'll decorate this later on. As you can see, I'm in my workout clothes because I'm gonna be heading to the gym in a little bit, but I just wanted to stay home. Thank you for that nice pan on my workout. <laughs> she really she really was very, uh, she, well, you're very thorough with that one, darling. Yeah. But anyway, look at this lizard. I, I mean, I think I'm gonna wanna handle this guy a lot. And I promise you, I promise we're gonna build the coolest monitor water monitor enclosure at our new facility you guys are going to love it i can't wait hey if you love the videos go to patreon.com slash camp cannon help us create these videos help us get them out don't forget to like and subscribe to the video here on the camp cannon channel and if you want to see some more random musings go to the camp cannon army channel but right now let's leave you i'm going to put them down in here okay they're good climbers we're going to leave you with him exploring a little bit of his new enclosure. So uh, I'll take over the duties and I'll just film them because I know Kate doesn't like to get too close, but how awesome is the Mertens water monitor? This is sick. What a gift. Thank you so much. Uh, like I said, guys, I don't always take animals, but there are certain species that I've wanted to work with. Thank you so much for your trust, Jared. Um, I will do the best job I can with this animal, and we're going to be uh, catching up with him throughout the rest of his time here at Camp Kennett. So give me a name in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you all very, very soon. Very soon. Very soon. No, no, I'm not putting you on camera. Though. She's not feeling well, but she still looks beautiful to me.
desert. I love it. One more shot. Hey, little buddy. Just one more shot of this guy. 